So the student's asking, is free 120 easier than the real deal or similar? And as I've harped on in my prior YouTube clips, free 120 is exactly the same as the real deal, as are the NBMEs, okay? The NBME exams, and the free 120, as well as all the clinical mastery series forms for TCK, which are the NBME subject specific forms, all of that content is the real deal. Okay, and if you're studying for comp, CBSC, that material is also the real deal. This isn't a matter of subjectivity. It's not a debate. It's not speculation. Objectively, all of that content is the same. And, you know, we talk about uh, dumb cliche aphorisms where people will say, uh, you know, oh, there's only uh, two uh, certainties in life, death and taxes, okay? And we could say that there's a third, which is that people will always come out of the U.S. simile and rant on Reddit that, oh my God, it was incredibly different from the NBME exams, etc. It's not fucking true, okay? The content is exactly the same. Some students have uh, just stated the idea that the real deal questions are longer than the NBME ones, that's also not true. If you do the NBME exams, you'll notice that their format is just wider and narrower in terms of the height of the question. When you get to the real deal though, it's the same as the free 120 slash UWorld interface. Okay, the real deal is gonna look like free 120, which is gonna look like UWorld, where the questions are narrower in terms of their width, but they're longer okay, down the page so they can look longer, but they're not longer, okay? So UWorld self-assessment exams, uh, that's its own separate discussion. Those, although yes, they can be predictive, they're not the real deal and hence they're lower on the hierarchy, okay? Students get very emotional about UWorld. Many students wanna do UWorld self-assessment exams late. It's a bad fucking idea, okay? I've made lots of clips here on the YouTube as far as how to go through all the exams. We want you ending on all of the NBME material. We don't want you ending on the UWorld self-assessment exams, okay? The perturbance into people's psych if they do poorly on the UWorld self-assessment exams, even if they're doing well on the NBMEs, causes a lot of frustration for everybody involved, okay? I don't even routinely recommend people do the UWorld self-assessment exams anymore, okay? And that's, that's notable because we have so much NBME assessment. That's the reason. All right, we literally have so many NBME exams for step one. For 2CK, I mean, we've now got, we've got a, a 12th form that was released. We have six through 12 as well, as well as all the CMS forms. Okay, so a decade ago when I sat the steps, sure, I mean, I did NBME three online for step one. So there were fewer assessments and UWorld self-assessments had more utility. As I said, they can be predictive, but we're ending on all the NBME, NBME content. There's copious material as well as free 120, it's all the same, okay? Despite people's hallucinations that the real deal is different from the NBME exams in free 120. You know the deal, I'm gonna continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time, that's it.